Hey, what's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here, bringing you another Marine Corps Mondays. And first off, I'd like to thank everyone on the new subscribers, all my current subscribers. From just broke over 500 subscribers. Uh, was kind of you know hoping to July I'd break 500. So this happened a little early. It was a nice little early birthday gift for me. <laughs> So the next milestone is a thousand subscribers. Uh, when we get to a thousand, I'm gonna go ahead and do either a giveaway or, you know, uh, a vlog, so you know everyone can see what I look like and stuff, stuff like that. But anyways, I was gonna do a combat stories this week, but um, you know, with all my new subscribers and everything, you know, a lot more people are messaging me, asking me questions. So right now, I got a little over 200 messages on my YouTube, another hundred something messages on my Facebook. And you know, you know how I like to answer questions, so I'm trying to answer them all. But you know, between my job, all of this, and you know, girlfriend, it gets kind of hard to answer everything. So, what I've been finding is I've been getting a lot of repeat questions, and some of them I've covered in um, you know question and answer videos. Some of them I haven't. So, if you know, before you guys answer a question, you know, ask me a question, go ahead and take a look at my question and answer videos and see if I had you know answered it already. Just to, you know, save me save me a little bit of time, you know, because I'm. Pretty busy, and I'm trying to get you guys as many videos and everything as possible. But today for Marine Corps Mondays, I want to go ahead and answer the top few questions that I get asked. Um, you know, I get asked these questions multiple, multiple, multiple times, and just to save myself a little bit of time and you know some carpal tunnel and stuff, I'm just gonna go ahead and answer them here with what you know, so that way everybody, you know, all the new subscribers and everything, you can, you can get your question answered and not have to worry about you know messaging me and stuff. So, anyways. How you get selected for an infantry MOS? Now, this is like, you know, when you hit SOI, if you want to do machine gunner 0331, assaultman 0350, I think it's 51, I think. I don't know, I'm drawing a blank. But, you know, mortarman, stuff like that. Now, what happens is when you get halfway through SOI, you uh, finish your, you know, that's where you, the first part is just rifleman stuff. You learn your 0311, and then that's when you break off. Well, they give you a list. You get to choose your top five or ten of what you want to do. Now it's up to those instructors that say the machine gun instructor or whatever to look through the list of the people who added as the top things and pick who he thinks is going to be a good, you know, good candidate for it. So like if you've fallen out of humps, they might not look at you and everything. So that's where you mainly get picked for that. Um, it's pretty much up to the instructor, but usually most people who put their number one thing get picked for it unless you, you know, you can't, you know, do any of the stuff and the instructor thinks you're not going to be good for it. That's the only exception in that that whole, you know, scenario. Look at this idiot. Check your corners, dude. But, um, so that's how it gets picked for that. Now brings me to the next one, how you get picked for an LAV crewman. Now this is a little different. This is purely luck. There is nothing, pretty much, you can't do anything about it. You can't ask for it. I mean, it's pretty much random luck. So what happens is they pretty much pick from the 0311 field at SOI. It usually happens towards the end is when they pick people. Um, so what happens is they just look at your scores, and then they go ahead and, um, just how many slots they have they pick from the 0311 area um, who they want to be the crewman so I mean you would talk to a recruiter maybe it's changed maybe they're actually you know um, taking taking people for it you can just sign up for it but um, as of w when I was in it was picked straight from the LAV uh, the 0311 area and you ran I mean you couldn't sign up for it it was just you know purely based on your scores and how many people they needed that was pretty much it so I mean there's not I, you know I'd talk to your recruiter if you want to do LAV crewman uh, see what he says they might have changed it a little bit you know I've been out for a few years so you can't always you know when it comes to enlisting they might have changed a few things I don't, you know stuff changes alright so anyways next one officer versus enlisted I get a lot of you that ask me if you know um, you should do officer and enlisted what's the difference you know you want to be in combat well you will be in combat when you're an officer. I mean, unless you get up to like a captain or a freaking major or something, you're not really going to be in combat. But, you know, as a butter bar freaking lieutenant, you're going to be out there leading a platoon. So you're going to be in the shit. I mean, you'll be given the orders and everything. So, you know, you will see combat. Um, if you're not, you're planning on making a career out of it, definitely do officer, I would say. I mean, you're going to get a lot more money. You're going to get a lot more, you know, chances. It, it, you know, there's a lot more chances to do everything as an officer. Um, they pretty much don't do much, uh, you know, I mean, other than, like, your lieutenants, but when you get up to captains and stuff, it's all paperwork and everything, but the, you know, the enlisted are the hard workers, um, they're the ones that get messed with a lot, I mean, personally, my point of view, uh, definitely enlisted over officer, um, enlisted, are, you know, they're, they're the working men, they work for a living, um, I like getting, I personally, I don't like getting, I like giving orders, I was a fire team leader, I hated, you know, telling my guys what to do, it was freaking stupid, you know, most, my guys were pretty good about, you know, knowing what they needed to do, 
and everything, so I didn't really have to freaking coach him or anything or give him orders. So, but I didn't like it. I, that's why I didn't sign up to do officer. Um, you know, that was one of those things. Um, you know, it's all up to you. I mean, um, if you're already in college and you got a few years left in your degree, go officer. I, you know, I don't blame you. But I mean, if not, you're just going out of high school. You don't want to go to college. Do enlisted. You'll, you know, you won't regret it. Um, the next thing disqualifying injuries now I get a lot of you messaging me saying you know you got flat feet uh, you got pins in your ankle uh, what are some other ones I've heard um, damn there was a few other that stuck out I can't remember them look at these idiots just sitting there stupid 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 but um uh, there was one other one that kind of stuck out but whatever you know I don't know a lot about I, I can't really tell you a lot about what's disqualifying and what's not uh, I know they do check for a lot of these things like flat feet and, you know, pins and stuff. But, you know, what you guys got to realize is a lot of times they do waivers to where they'll check you out. If, you know, they think it's not that bad, they'll go ahead and give you a waiver and send you off to boot camp. And it's pretty much up to the doctors. Um, if it's something that they're checking for, like flat feet, they check for flat feet. You might as well just tell them about it, see if you can get a waiver. Most likely they'll just give you some special shoes or something to send you in. Uh, you know, like surgeries, pins and the needles and stuff. Uh, I don't know, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a little fishy, but I mean, the best bet I can say to you guys is go ahead and just talk to your recruiter, see what he says, um, he might just tell you, you know, don't tell him anything, you know, you're, you're fine, don't worry about it, or he might be like, yeah, you might need to get a waiver for that, you're not going to be able to hide that, you know, they're going to help you out, your recruiter ain't going to freaking throw you under the bus, you know, he wants you in, you, you, you want to get in, he's going to help you regardless, I mean, they may lie to you every once in a while, but, you know, they're going to try to get you in no matter what, so... You know, they're going to steer you in the right path. They're, gonna, they're not going to, you know, screw you over like that. Though if they tell you to ignore it, just ignore it. If they tell you to tell somebody, tell somebody. You'll probably get a waiver and get sent right through. If it's something really bad and, it, you know, you can't join, don't get disheartened, not, you know, discouraged about it. Just try, keep trying. You know, you might be able to get a waiver the next time, you know. Just keep on trying. Don't give up. All right, the next thing I got is college before or after the Marines. Now, you know, this can go both ways. Um, I'm not sure if you can use your GI Bill to pay off student loans. Uh, I never really looked into that. Um, I assume you can uh, to a certain extent because, you know, I'm sure they thought about that when they made the GI Bill. But this is one of those things. If you're going to do officer, definitely college before the Marines. I mean, you can go get your degree, head to OCS, and pay off all your student loans. Why not? Sure. Um, if, you, if you're doing enlisted, go ahead and just do college afterwards. I mean, if you don't like, you know, you don't like the Marines after you get, you know, after you do your four years, get out, use the GI Bill, go get some uh, money for college, and, you know, go go do college or whatever you want to do. But um, that's pretty much preference up to you. I mean, that that's pretty much what it comes down to with the college before or after. It doesn't really matter unless you're going to do officer and enlisted. I mean, because when you, you were enlisted, you get some college credits for your courses anyways. So if you're going to do college after, there you go, you got a few credits you can knock down, you know, shave like a freaking semester or two off your college. But if you're going to do officer, it's, it's just e it's a lot easier to do get your four-year degree and head into the OCS instead of, you know, trying to get into the Naval Academy or something like that. So, I mean, if you're already in college and you want to do the Marines, you're thinking about just doing enlisted, you know, and, um, you know, halfway through and then finishing up college using the money. Just go ahead and, you know, just finish up your college. Go ahead and, yeah, a nice little jump shot. Go officer, pay off all your student loans and everything. And, um, you know, you, you get to do some pretty badass shit. You lead a bunch of Marines to go fuck some shit up. That's the only thing I can say with that. Um, you know, but it's all up to personal preference. You know, talk to your recruiter. See what he says about it all. See what you like, you know, what he likes. Um, for, you know, from what he tells you, what you like and what you feel comfortable doing. And just make your choice from there. Um, that's about it. Those are the questions. So, I mean, you know, just before you guys ask me questions, make sure you check, um, back to my Marine Corps question, my Marine Corps Monday question and answer videos to see if I haven't already answered it, just in case, you know, saves me, a little, you know, a few more minutes of my time and, you know, helps me get some more videos out for you guys to watch. But anyways, down in the link below, I got a link to Monster Cat Gaming's channel. Go ahead and go over there and subscribe. Uh, you know, tell him uh, the Devil Dog Gamer sent you. He'll get a nice little smile from that. Anyways, but I'm um, going to be doing some giveaways sometime soon. We'll see how much of this uh, money I get. <laughs> so we'll do some giveaways or something, maybe give away some Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3. But if you guys like my Arma 2 videos, I'm going to be doing a lot of those uh, Daisy mod videos, uh, running from zombies and stuff, trying to survive. Uh, I'm going to post a video probably Tuesday of me just 
killing a bunch of kids instead of zombies. It's pretty funny. I know it's a dick move, and a lot of people don't like when people do that, but I got tired of getting screwed over in the zombie game, so I went ahead and just turned on everybody. But anyways, guys, don't forget to leave a comment, like this video, favorite it, do whatever, you know, support your local devil dog gamer. <laughs> Alright, guys, talk to you later. Peace.